Um, okay, good question to start with. That image, in that, that gasp I felt as this human suddenly flew up into the air in an impossible way, um, that was a really amazing moment. The Dublin Theatre Festival has, just, has always been around. But theatre wasn't a part of my life until I got a bit older, obviously. But it was only when the festival kicked in that you had a chance to see international work, mm. state of the art, the stuff that was really, you know, making waves and touring festivals around the world. So that was really, really exciting because you, you really saw a step up and it was exposure to European and international influences. Um, and it would often render me completely speechless. So that was what I, that's what I associate more than any specific uh, date. Um, that experience of just being what is this? This is this is completely different. Dublin, in, the best way to describe it is that it was dark and dirty. Um, there were no lights at night. There was nothing to do in town. Um, There's nowhere to eat, get a coffee. The only thing were the pubs and they closed. Um, but like literally there was no light, the street lights. Because I, I, I lived in, in town and you could walk down the quays and there was, it was just pitch darkness. And then because before the smoking ban, the fuel, solid fuel ban came in, as well, everything in winter was covered in soot. The windows, the buildings, the cars, um, your snot, everything was covered in grime. It is prehistory because it's a time before social media and no videos. Like you had no way of seeing this stuff unless you went in that door. Again, one of the nice things about the Dublin Festival, having seen a few around the world, is that it's, you know, Dublin's great charm is it's a walking city. The festival is doable. You can hold it in your mind as these are the things I'd like to see and you can make an awful lot of them and stuff. So. That's a helpful size. But yes, it, it, it would be a little spark right at the beginning of uh, the academic new year, you know? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, as, just as winter's coming in. A little explosion of light in that sense, you know? An example would be something like Freefall. You know, to put real humans in front of that show, we, we really weren't sure that we had, um, we thought we had about half a show with a problem in the middle and then some good bits. and. Uh, in the white heat of putting that thing together, we had to remove a scene um, in the first preview. We didn't have time to rehearse it. We never run the play without that scene in the middle. And, um, and Annie Ryan, who was directing it, she said to me on the way, uh, just as the curtain went up, she says, we, we, move, we pulled the scene. And I said, okay, well, does it work? She says, I have no idea, because we didn't have a chance to run it. They're gonna have to just remember where to pick up the rest of the play. So we watched it. We had this terrible sense of foreboding that then there's gonna be this stop and then a rustling around in the dark and then the other half of the play will start. And that moment never came. It was like removing a thorn from a lion's paw that once it came out, suddenly the whole thing clicked in. And we had this amazing experience of going like, we were an audience seeing it for the first time. We had no idea what this show was. I'll never forget that experience because as I say, we had not seen that show before the audience. I mean, we'd worked on it, we'd argued about it and fought with it for, for months and months and months, but we were there going, Total yeah. fans, yeah, but total fans for a moment, going like, that was a brilliant idea. Brilliant. <laughs> the, the pleasure for an audience in seeing something new and unexpected, and that's really, that's the most precious thing I think you can take from it, that it's about the audience and it's about that personal connection with your own mysteries. And my name is Michael West, I'm a writer for theatre, I've worked with the Corn Exchange for many years.